Let's head out and see what Lexi's up to now, because I saw coffee in her hand. Are you still in the same spot, Lexi? So, Brad, what's so cool about Pueblo is that it's not only a place to come and get your beautiful plants, kind of hang out. You can come to the back and check out Cafeo Espresso and hang out, get a coffee, sit back here in this beautiful shaded area, enjoy your cup of coffee, enjoy your tea, whatever you're drinking. I'm here with the owner, Anthony. Hello. Anthony, this is such a cool, cool coffee truck. Tell me a little bit about you guys. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, we have a 1985 uh, vintage Piaggio Ape that I converted into a coffee cart. This one stays here. Um, and we're open every day and yeah, we serve tons of coffee and teas and yeah. So fun. this one, this one stays here at Pueblo, but you have another one. You yes. have a white one yes. that goes around yep. town. People can hire it and bring it in for weddings, yep. corporate events. Yep. I have the white one I started with. We do Uptown Farmer's Market every Saturday. Love it. So you can always find me there. Um, and then yeah, we weddings, corporate events. Big or small, we got you. Anything you want. I absolutely <clears throat> love it. And you guys have another place called Aftermarket. Yes. Tell me a yes. little bit about that because this is a really unique concept. So Aftermarket is a, uh, a art gallery slash cafe that mm -hmm. I co-own with a good buddy of mine, Gino Bellison, uh, amazing artist. And yeah, it's uh, just a block down the street here nice. off Grand Ave. And uh, yeah, we have the same. Uh, there's art there. Art. There's uh, you can get more coffee. Yep. You roast your beans. Yes. All that good stuff. I, I roast love all it. All the beans and yeah, it's a, both great spaces, but both unique and yeah, know. really really cool. So tell me about these drinks that we have here, because sure, the coffee here, you guys, mm, it's so good. Oh, so walk so me much. through each one of these. Uh, what we got first is our uh, latte. This is the lavender honey latte. Um, just really subtle lavender flavor, still sweet with the honey. Um, double shot of espresso. That's what I was drinking. It's delicious. Middle one is just our cortado. It's just going to be equal parts espresso and milk. Yum. And then we just, our fan favorite is a, for the, our, our iced tea is a hibiscus. We just got that one back. Um, that one's always refreshing in the summer too. Delicious. And I know you guys have locally sourced pastries over here as well. Yes. Um, so we have a, a few different varieties. Uh, in the middle here we have um, Mark Chacon, a good friend of mine as well. Uh, James Beard nominee chef. Oh, wow. Um, and then with the ones here, I have the packages. These are Chef Mum, who I met with uh, at Uptown Farmer's Market. Cool. Oh, my gosh. Well, this looks great. I'm definitely going to have a Danish after this. But yes. you're going to teach me a little something gonna today, try. right? Yes. Okay. We're going to do this. He already told me that this is a really, really difficult art form to master. So don't laugh at me too hard if my latte art is really bad, Brad. I know you're going to laugh at me, we're but gonna, we're, we're going to try it. Okay, we'll it. so let's get a, a latte going and, so, and see what we can do. Yes, if you can help me out here, what we're going to do, yes. uh, well, first I'm going to start steaming this milk. Step one, steam the milk. All right. Go ahead and throw that double shot here in the cup. Okay. Now, do you want to, do you want me to pour this or do you want to pour this? The milk? Yeah. I'll try it. You want to try it? This is this is what makes this is what makes it latte art, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, good luck. <laughs> it's so. I guess we could work on a cappuccino first, because right, we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. So what you're gonna do? I guess you can just grab this. Okay. So this is our milk. Yep. And then it is hot. So what you're gonna do is kind of tilt this that way. Yep. Pour up and slow and go down and go a little bit faster and do a little bit circle though you want to create a base okay and then keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going now go down closer with your latte with your milk closer closer all the way like tip in and and this perfect. is where yep, i do yep, the yep, yep. there you go perfect Boom. hey <laughs> yeah. yep. Hey, it's not bad. It's a, it's latte art, you guys. It's yeah. something. Anybody's first try, that's amazing. So. Hey, it it will taste great. I can that's tell all, you that. That's all. I always say that. That's is, all that matters, right? As long as the milk is textured good and good espresso, you should get a good, great drink. Oh, so, I great love job. it. All right. Well, thanks for teaching me that, Anthony. Tell everybody where they can find more information about you. Uh, yeah, you can go on Instagram at Cafe Espresso. Um, in the bio, you'll see all the tags to aftermarket. Uh, feel free to reach out for any weddings, corporate events, and yeah, we'll see you here. Awesome, Anthony. Thank you so much. Brad, 
I'll save this for you, and we'll, we'll get it back to you in the studio so you can enjoy my beautiful latte. It looks great. <laughs> I love so. it.